Okay, so questions 11 and 12 are both talking about converting to and from fractions and decimals. So let's have a look um, about how these work. So I've got a little uh, PowerPoint thing here. Oh, thinking about it. We're getting there. Okay, so we can see here that we've got uh, a number line. And a number line goes from 0 to, if we're in tenths, it goes from 0 to 1. And so we can make a couple of comparisons. We know that this is in 10 sections between 0 and 1. So we know that the first one must be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then 1. And then we know that that must be 1 tenth of the way along. So that one's okay. So if we can use those easy ones, the 0 0.1 and 1 tenth, if we make that connection, then we can work out some of the others. Same way, 0 0.9 must be 9 tenths. You can either, there's either 9 bits of the way along or it's one space backwards. Okay, so that one's okay. We can work out other ones as well. So there's other nice ones. So if we had 3, three tenths, that must be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, that must be 0 0.3. In the same way, you could have 0 0.7, must be 7 tenths. So with all of that seems okay. Then you get the odd one, so 0 0.5 you'd expect it to be 5 tenths and it is 5 tenths except they've just simplified the fraction here so they've cancelled it to its simplest form so let's have a look at let's have a quick look at that so we looked at 5 tenths we said 0 0.5 must be 5 tenths but then this cancels down and our equivalent fractions this simplifies so if we divide numerator by 5 we get 1, and if we divide the denom denominator by 5, we get 2. So we can also say that 0 0.5 is a half. Now, like we said earlier on the uh, equations video, uh, sorry, on the equations video, on the fractions video, that we prefer this one because it was the simplest form. Okay? So this is, in, these are equivalent fractions, 5 tenths and 1 half, except half is in its simplest form, we prefer it because the numbers are smaller. We'd same with the other ones. We've got 0 0.2 here. Let's have a go ahead and see what 0 0.2 would be if we looked at it. Well, using our knowledge, we know that's 2. Oops, my apologies. 0 0.2 is two tenths but let's see if we can break this fraction down let's have a look at the numerator and denominator um, what number goes into both must be two two goes in once to the numerator and it goes five times okay so let's compare back so we're thinking 0 0.2 is going to come out as a fifth so 0 0.2 let's line them up and it's fifth and that's the same thing, it works for all of them. Three fifths, well that must be 0 0.2. So if we start here, we miss one 0 0.2, miss one, that must be 0 0.4. So that must be two fifths. And then miss one again, 0 0.6, must be three fifths. Miss one again, is 0 0.8, and it's four fifths. So you notice all the even digits for 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Then we don't have tenths on the bottom because we can simplify those fractions. Okay, so we can simplify 0 0.2 to 1 fifth, 0 0.4 to 2 fifths, 0 0.6 to 3 fifths, and 0.8 to 4 fifths. The only other one, the one that works as well is 0 0.5. That simplifies really nicely to a half. So we should be confident with those ones. And it works in, in, in other ways with hundredths as well. So let's go back. So if we've got 0 0.3, we know that that is... 3 tenths. Let's check to see whether it simplifies anymore. Let's check. Is there a number that goes into top and bottom? Well, 1 goes into both. That's not useful. 3, 6, 9, 12. No, it misses 10 out, so it doesn't work. So there is no. Well, we already have it in its simplest form. So therefore, we can just write this one as that. And that helps us to fill out some of these other ones as well. It helps us to fill out 2 tenths which is really one-fifth, 
2 tenths is easy because it's 0 0.2. So we need to then work out, do some more calculations when we've got hundredths as well, like this one here. So if 7 tenths is 0 0.2, 7, 7 over 100, dividing it by 10 and by 10 again, must be 0.07. So this must be 7 over 100. And then, so this must be 0.03, because it can't be the same as that there. Because it's 3 out of 100, not 3 out of 10. Okay? And then this one must be the same. So, 68, in a similar idea, 68 of 100 is 0 0.68. But we want to write the fraction, so we could put 68 over 100 in here. But then we spot something. We spot that this is not simplest form in here. So we have to go ahead and find the simplest form of 68 over 100. So let's simplify this fraction. Mm, 2 goes in because it's even, so let's try 2. So that goes in 34 times, halving 68, and halving that makes 50. Can I divide by 2 again? Yeah, that makes 25, and that makes 17. 17 is a prime number, so I can't go anymore. So that means that means I'm done. So that means my simplest form 17 over 25. Okay? In the same way, we can work with these fractions. If we could work them up to tens or hundreds in equivalent fractions, then our life would be a whole lot easier. So let's look. 3 over 25. If I could get this bottom number to be 100, I could write it as a decimal easy. So what have I done from here to here? I've multiplied by 4, haven't I? 4 25s make 100. So let's multiply by 4. That makes 12. Okay, so that means I can just instantly fill in 0 0.12. Same thing over here. 11 over 50. If I go to get the bottom to 100, I can convert it to a decimal easy, like this one, you know, out of 10, and this one out of 100, convert to decimals really easily. So, what have I done? Ah, uh, I've doubled here. So I must double here as well. Gives me 22. 22 over 100, 0 0.22. Okay, so quite a lot of fractions and decimals work here. I think this, this video is really important, so it's worth going back over and check that you know how to do these ones first of all, and the tenths, and then once we've worked well, you can have a look at these red ones which are a little bit trickier, which are using equivalent fractions. Okay?